The saga of the garter carriage continues with this look at where we're going to find the crud and how we're going to get it out. This is the, the rod that we took loose under the circlip and lifted off the post. Now what we want to do is look at what it does and see how stiff that movement is. Very stiff. Now see, that little teeny electronic circuit has to move this, and if it's that stiff, it's not going to. And now here's something I want you to look for. There's a footprint right here of where this goes when it's in its lowered position. If it's not all the way back to the end of this slot, it's not going to change directions when it gets to the other end of the bed. That's just too stiff. One of the things we're going to clean, and we'll show you when we get to the cleaning portion, is how to lubricate this change that makes this carriage go one way and then back in the other direction. But when you first open it, Look at this footprint. Make sure it goes all the way to the top of the slot here and all the way at the bottom, near the bottom of the slot right here. Can you see that, what I'm talking about? Yes, I, dark I can, area? and I think that the camera can. Okay, good. We'll get to cleaning on this as soon as I go through it, and we'll put that in the next video. For this portion, I'm going to have to hold the camera in my hand and move it around while Jack shows you where to look for crud. So if it's shaky, we apologize, but that's how you can see it. All right. First of all, right in this groove, we see a bunch of that old grease. And if you look down in there, you'll see the fuzz that I'm going to try to get out. Actually, I think your pin light's making a glare. All right. How about that? Might be better. All right. Now, let's lift this up. And I'll try to tilt it while you look right in there because I uh, see what my hand got but right in here is a place that catches a lot of that fuzz and a lot of this is because of that old grease oh my uh, this area right here where the needle lives if you will see all the fuzz in there that we'll have to get out now we're going to use it right up in here same thing now let me show you while I'm holding this, I'll actually rotate it and you can see some of the movements that the carriage has to make in order to, there you go, now it's out of our way, but you see some of the movements that it has to make and what have we got here? We've got a lot of that old grease and a lot of fuzz that it's catching. Now when we clean, we're gonna, I'm going to do this because it takes a while. But I'll get it all cleaned up. See, look right here at what we've got under there. And all that fuzz just continually works down into these areas. You can see it right there. Let me see if I can... And it's, not, it's only going to work further into these mechanisms and gears and wheels down in here. Now, this area that I'm pointing to with the light now, this is the area that changes. You see those slides moving. That is what changes the direction of your carriage. When it gets to the end, the feed dogs go the other way because of this change. So when it's stiff like we saw in the first part, we're going to have to do quite a bit of cleaning in here. And I will do the cleaning, then I will come back and show you where I cleaned and how we're going to do some lubrication. The pen light's making more okay. glare than help. And again, we'll see how to make this a much smoother movement. You see it gets to right there. And then it's really okay. stiff. So the people who have garter carriages need to watch the video on disassembling and reassembling. Yes. And once they're in there, they need to clean and lubricate the areas that you just showed them. Get off all the nasty old grease and as much fuzz as they can find. That's right, and I will, I will do it, and so it's all nice and clean and smooth working, and then I'll show you exactly I sprayed here, I sprayed there, but there's no sense in putting a video of yeah. me getting nasty and then cleaning up again. Oh, that could be fun. How long should most people allow for their cleaning process? Uh, to really do it right the first few times, I would say give yourself the afternoon. 
uh, start on it right after lunch and be ready to wrap it up by dinner time because <clears throat> it may take you a few tries to clean, lubricate, move these parts, clean, lubricate, move these parts. I've done this and enough. There's no point in going into it and doing half the job. Right. I've done this enough now that I know where I'm going and how I'm going to get in there, but you need to learn that. 